Hi guys, Stan here. My work on combat mission tools has been making a lot of progress lately. Although there are still unknowns about the MDR format, I think the tools are good enough for wider testing. To facilitate that, I'm going to make a series of videos showing off the Blender plugins I've created. In this video, I will show you how to download and install the Blender plugins followed by a demo of using the importer. The first step is to go to the Projects GitHub page. The link will be provided in the description. In addition to the source code, I will be documenting things on the wiki, and um, this wiki will have more and more information as we go along. But the first thing I want you to do is to download the source code of the entire repository, and I already have it here on my desktop. Unzip it and then go to the iocene underscore mdr and then make a zip file out of it there it is and then go into blender go to file user preferences install from file then find that zip file you just created then click on this testing tab and then check the checkbox to enable the importer and then click safe user settings so you don't have to do this again alright so now that we've installed the plugins inside of blender let's import an object go to file import and then select CMX MDR and I'm going to import an AKM with a GP30 grenade launcher there's our um, AK, and one thing I want you to notice, besides the, the 3D mesh data, we also have these um, empty objects. Um, that's what Blender calls them. Uh, and I'm using these to symbolize uh, what I call anchor points. So this is how the game decides where to put the muzzle flash when the weapon fires, uh, where to put the ejected shell casings when it fires. So as I'm going through here, I'm not going to be telling you um, how to use Blender. There are plenty of tutorials online. Um, so I'm just explaining more about the um, nature of MDR and how the importer works with it. So and another thing that MDR um, has is parent and child relationships. So all these um, different parts of the rifle are actually separate meshes that have a parent and child relationship. And the weapon mesh is the the parent, um, you know what that means whenever I move it around, everything moves in relation to it. Uh, so we can click here and then go through the different children. An empty mesh here. Um, also, if you click on the materials, you can look at the material properties and you click, if you click here, you can see the textures. Um, the importer sometimes doesn't load textures um, so you have to watch out for that, see that there's not a missing texture here. Um, another thing about the MDR format, I'm going to go in the UV editing mode here. And I'm going to edit, look at the UVs of this magazine here. Um, one of the MDR limitations is that uh, vertex is only allowed one texture coordinate so if you're making custom models you have to take that into account in the next video I will demo the exporter like subscribe comment and hit me up on the battlefront forums and keep your powder dry